Hi, my name is MJ and I am a mom of two wonderful children who have allergies and eczema. I have been dealing with the eczema for six years on my son. We have come out ahead of it and we are doing really well. So I just want to share with you some of the products that I use that have been so beneficial in helping him feel normal. So we use this Vanna cream. Now this is the best lotion I have ever found. I've been using this for six years on my son. I also use it on my two year old. It's the only lotion I've ever found that does not bother them when they have eczema. It might a little bit if he's having an extreme flare up. In that case, I use petroleum jelly and this on the rest of his body. But this provides a barrier so that his skin can retain some moisture so that the eczema flare ups aren't as frequent or as intense which reduces infections or consequences, you know, from bacteria, viruses getting into his skin. Because when you have eczema, that barrier is broken down and things can get in, so you want to keep it whole. So I love this stuff. I used to go to the store and buy whatever said it was for eczema. I'd bring it home, put it on my child, and he would scream in pain. Why is that? Well, I would turn it over and read the ingredients and they put a type of alcohol in a lot of those you know, store lotions that causes um, sensitivity. It's, it's it's really, sometimes it's, it's not good for some children and I feel as though the marketing should be more clear on that, but that's my opinion. So, Vanna Cream, you can go on Amazon and buy it. I've seen it in Target, Publix, CVS, it's awesome. Okay, secondly, sunblock. The Vanna Cream Sunblock is also really good. I'm just going to give it a shout out. I use this now. It doesn't cause any irritation on either of my children. Love it. But like I said before, petroleum jelly is a really good way to go. The Vanna Cream Company also makes something called Vanna Ply, which is a petroleum jelly based type of thing. It's kind of like Aquaphor, but I like it better than Aquaphor. I really, really like it. Um, six years I've been using it and I haven't changed. I've tried everything out there and it's the best thing I can find. There's no essential oils, nothing that could irritate the skin. Listen, I like essential oils for an adult or maybe for a child that doesn't have eczema or allergies or sensitivities. But if you put something on your child's skin and it has a, a, a plant protein in it that they might be allergic to, it, you know, I mean, you're playing with fire in my opinion when it comes to that. All right, another thing that we use a lot are bamboo gloves. So these bamboo gloves we wear at night after we've put on our lotion. He's been wearing these since he was two. I have a whole outfit that is bamboo that he used to wear for a couple of years and I'm probably going to have to do the same thing with my daughter. So these bamboo gloves are breathable, they're really comfy, he can wear them around the house. The only difficulty with these are um, they are kind of a pain in the butt to clean. You need to get like a mesh bag if you're gonna wash them in the, in the washing machine because they're so delicate, okay? And they get dirty very easily. So we have some pairs. This is a nice pair. See, it's a new pair. We have some pairs. You see all these? These are all my gloves that are dirty. They look dirty and <laughs> there's holes in them. But these are the ones that we would wear around the house if we were having a bad eczema flare. <laughs> so this is probably like two years old and I know it looks nasty, but if you're around the house and you're flaring with eczema and your kid still wants to play, just put these on them and nobody's gonna see it, right? So yeah, so anyways, this actually leads to my next thing. I have a go bag. I keep all of my gloves in a bag right here, which goes in this bag. This is my go-to bag. In this bag, I have all of his medications, everything I need if he's having a flare-up at 2 a.m. Um, I've got anything. I've got band-aids. I have antibiotic. I've got disposable gloves. That's another important thing. If you're putting your kid's lotion on at 1 a.m. with dirty hands, you don't know what you're putting onto that kid's skin. Because remember, eczema is a breakdown in the barrier and it leads it it's very easy for infection to occur in a child or person or anybody with eczema, okay? That's cracks in the skin. So, yeah, but go bag. I have everything in here. I've got my Zyrtec, I've got my Claritin, I even have a cold pack. So ice and cold packs really help with the itch. 
My son sometimes will still get itchy on his ankles or his hands, back of the neck at night. And I will go to the freezer and get him a nice soft cold pack. Um, this is my emergency cold pack. This is the one that you break and it gets cold from the doctor's office. Um, but anyways, we will get a cold pack, put it on him for 15 minutes and either he'll fall asleep with it um, or I go back in and put it away. But it works wonders. My doctor told me it tricks the nerves um, into closing so that the itch doesn't occur because that's the big deal with the eczema, right? The itch. All right, yeah, so we've got all his prescription medication, creams in here, anything I need to stop an itch, but it's all in one place. I keep this in his room, and that way I know where it is if I need it. So I hope I've been helpful, at least in the slightest. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to, to comment me. I've been there, I've done that. Um, I'm doing it again with my daughter, except this time I'm more knowledgeable and uh, I feel more prepared to take on what the next few years are probably going to bring my way. All right, I hope you have a great day and stay safe.